Hello, my name is Ethan, and welcome back to another episode of Path of Exile Sentinel League 3.18. In this episode, we're going to be going over the new Atlas Passive Tree for Sentinel League. Uh, I made a new one where you make more money. Uh, I want to go over this, and uh, we don't do strong, uh, we, we don't do uh, blight anymore, and we don't do uh, any other terrible stuff. And now we're just making huge money, and we actually make twice as much as people doing Searing Exarch. Let me go through this. So I need to start it off with this, how to make more money in Path of Exile. Basically, uh, here you see the different uh, Eldritch Icors. So you can see 115 lesser for an X or so, uh, 70 for the greater per X, and 80 for the grand. Um, and then here's here's Eldritch Ember, because nobody's doing it. Uh, 60 compared to 110, uh, 40 on the greater compared to 60, and 50 compared to 80. So if you do Searing Exarch on the Atlas Passive right now, you make more money because this is a easy clamp, dude. Too many people are doing Eater Eater of Worlds for for the uh, for the amulet, and so we can make more money doing this. And so now I'll explain the rest of the the rest of it. All right, so now I'm gonna simulate a map. <clears throat> These are my sextons. Strong box monsters and rage 500 quant two additional uh, two ritual altars. So I was doing ritual sextant and then you can use the ritual vessels on the ritual altars to consume them. But you don't have to do this part because ritual vessels are 8c per and they're kind of expensive. And you could just buy the sextant and run ritual that way and it's actually cheaper. Uh, then we can run more fragments when you're not running uh, ritual vessels too. And we could run uh, elder, ambush, cartography, div. You don't have to run rusted or gilded, just whatever you can afford and whatever seems pricey. Uh, like I said, searing exarch. Let's go and let's simulate a map. Uh, so this is the carry on golem build. We got the explode AG. Uh, we got the wands and uh, yo, big damage. Here we go. Boom. Oh, uh, we could sentinel. Oh, we got our Searing Exarch influence. We got basic currency. That seems fun. We're buffing up the Searing Exarch monsters. Astragalis. Uh, so then with these... Uh, the altars are rippy because I take the Atlas passive note of the 25% increased damage. Right? But uh, we're okay with that. And uh, it's also an unID'd map, so I don't know what's on it. And uh, we're going to take the, the ones that give us map currency here. Uh, there's... We can look for... Um, brittle boots now now that we're doing searing exarch we'll get brittle boots and we'll make tons of money you can take so the main idea of the strat is actually uh altars the the map a uh, shrine sorry the map's gonna be rippy until you grab this one and this one well at least massive uh the resistance shrine gives you the reses 90 reses massive gives you like a thousand life all of these make a really big diff where i can pretty much afk now 90 reses shock uh, so this, this strat has all of the shrine nodes, so we get an extra shrine effect, we get the shrine effects being stronger, we have the shrine effects lasting longer, they last over a minute, um, they make us, like, immune, uh, it's really fun, highly recommend all the shrines, then we're running all the ritual, uh, we run ritual sex in a ritual vessel to get, to guarantee ritual, and then, um, how I use the blue, okay, uh, I'm gonna find a pack, that I see off screen like this, and I'm gonna blast it, and I got it. 158 chain, maybe it worked. Oh, they, they were pretty strong. Let's go again. I was I was just standing still, I wasn't moving. Mm hmm four astragalis, orb of a making, incubators. Then we get to do another ritual, see what we get. I lost my shrines. I think it was fizz damage. They hit me with some like arrows or something. Some bone spikes flying through the air. Look how they're only spawning in like a line. Oh shit, magma barrier. Oh shit, magma barrier. You could brittle this line and increase your damage for the whole ritual for four, like, well, for four seconds until it disappears. But if you keep doing it, you would, you would just keep getting it. Holy shit. T3 cold. It's pretty crazy. It's a lot of damage, actually. wonder if I should grab it. 200 cold. Boom. Assassin's Mark. Brittle. Vaughn Gloves on the Anime Guardian on his grave bind. 
Monstrous treasure craft received. What the hell? Wait a minute. Isn't that all the monsters become strong boxes? And I can do that with the enrage on this map and get a billion doubled. Oh my god, with quantity and. Wait. 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 Holy shit, I have monstrous treasure? Yo, that's sick. Oh, we have a shrine. Hopefully, I got a good one. Uh, we got armor. We'll check another one real quick. I have one more. Uh, what do we get? Maybe we have one more. What do we get? What? It doubled. The apothecary! Woo! In the video, dude! In the video every time! I'm insane! I'm insane every time it's the video, dude. <laughs> Off stream video. Woo! <laughs> right, we have the unkillable shrine. Now, we, now we can flex. Okay, so we open up that. We do a ritual. Oh yeah, shrine league. So yeah, you take this shrine. You get a minute and a half divine shrine, and then we have all the strong box nodes. Um, so if we had gotten that apothecary on the strong box, we would have got double div. Damn it. Pretty close, dude. That's what I was hoping for. Mage Blood Div card, the Apothecary. Boom. Uh, we finally got one. <laughs> of course, it's the first one off stream. Are you joking, dude? You're so troll, game. Oh, yeah, I'll we'll show some gameplay of my Atlas. Yo, it's pretty good, guys. You should do it too. Easy Apothecary. Woo! <laughs> How the fuck, dude? This is so insane. I have forgotten to capture my rituals too, because I. Well, uh, divine. Let's clear. Okay. Let's do the other ritual while we're divined. Let's juice it when it spawns. Boom! Okay, we zapped like 30. I feared that I wasn't going to be able to use the blue one again. Oh, my sentinel controller is this. So I get the double deploy. Um, which I don't even really need. I could save points, but I get the less common rewards. I get the duplicating non-unique enemies and the sentinel power. But I guess sentinel power is actually bad because you make them stronger, right? You make the enemy stronger for XP and I don't want, I don't care about that. So I guess I've been griefing. That's why my sentinel is so strong. It's actually the controller. Oh, okay. Let's roll my... I rolled over the T T3 cold. I didn't I didn't really want it. Uh rot blood, cold res. I'm looking for fractures, enchanted helmets, uh anything worth a lot. Uh and then we just grab up the scraps. The stackables. Hit. Arcanist. Two grand Eldritch Icors. Oh, uh, and while we're here, we need to grab the, uh... The alt, the, the ritual, yeah. Was there a ritual in the boss room? I don't think so. I think it was down here. And maybe one at the beginning. Or over in the t uh, left. Yeah. That was a really fun map. Yo, GG, easy, ma easy mage blood card again, dude. Do I go again? Do I gamble it for the video? That's a lot. I already have a mage blood. I don't need another one. Damn it. Okay, now back to the explanation. So real quick, uh, I don't take the extra chance for ritual because we force it every time with the sextant or the... Uh... Or the vessels. Uh, you can't block it though. Or else it doesn't spawn. Um, I don't block rogue stuff. Because I like to get the contracts and blueprints. It's worth a lot. Uh, you can sell deception, perception. All the Gianna contracts. And then uh, strong box stuff is really good. Uh, with extra points. I would almost want to take like the extra chance to be openable. Or the uh, extra duration of the shrine effects. Or the extra openable uh, packs on the on the shrine uh, on the on the strong boxes. All of this is really cool. Shrines are really fun. Oh yeah, you have to run domination on the atlas uh, on the map device uh, for the shrines. You can run whatever master mission you want, and it's searing X search, and you run ambush cartography to map sustain. 
uh you can run higher to get even more to build up in the first place this map to drop the apothecary as you see to get a mage blood div card easy clap uh rusted div to increase your chance by 50 percent and uh yeah elder because you can get more than one influence on a map really fucking sick i like that they made the uh influence scarabs worth again shaper and elder um yeah overall the last thing is uh those sextants i was using with the um, ritual and the enraged strong box and uh the two extra strong boxes pretty expensive but really worth it because 500 quant on the monsters from a strong box is huge and then they get doubled the the divs get doubled so uh that's my that's my uh new atlas passive tree i hope you guys enjoy that's my new strategy ritual uh trines with <laughs> ridiculous Page blood diff cards let's fucking go apothecary easy dude uh thank you guys for watching thanks for hanging out i hope you guys did enjoy if you guys did like this video hey hit that like button if you guys have ever played ritual hit the like button if you guys hit the like button hit that subscribe button to enjoy the dude join the gamers of the gear report and uh let's get 69 likes in one day on this video thank you guys for all the support and i'll see you guys in the next episode bye